Another place seeing high surf and even some minor flooding, Dauphin Island. The West End specifically dealing with impacts of Laura. Nicolette Schleisman is live on the island tonight. And Nicolette, tell us what you're seeing there. Well, Devin, water and sand are covering parts of Bienville Boulevard, but many people on the island say that they're relieved. We dodged two bullets in one week. As two storms made their way towards the Gulf of Mexico, Dauphin Island visitors and residents were getting ready. We were prepared for the worst. We got plenty of food and water and gas in the tank. I made sure the generator was up and running and we had food and stuff. Marco left a little impact on the island. What we're dealing with now is a lot less problematic than what could have been. But Dauphin Island is already feeling the impact of Laura. Salt water gets anywhere from knee deep to three feet deep. We went on a tour of the west end of the island with Mayor Jeff Collier. It's flowing over faster than we get it caught right here. Sand up to four feet deep covered several parts of Bienville Boulevard. And sandbanks were washed away by the power of the Gulf. Anytime there's a, there's a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, we're mindful of that. We're going to watch it until it's no longer. In the meantime, we've already got some cleanup to do. Something people on the island are used to. Even though the water has been coming up really high, I think we got really lucky about the weather. And city officials are concerned there will be more flooding overnight into the morning. And that's because of these sand banks and sand barriers. Many of them were washed away last night into this morning. And they say that can make it easier for water to get onto Bienville Boulevard. Reporting live at Dauphin Island, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.